and our total for the day was six. everybody what is up what is up as always thanks for stopping by to another video today we are out on the 2022 Harley Davidson Street Bob and we are headed out towards media PA we're heading out to Hanum's Harley Davidson we are gonna go ahead and get this thing a 1k service now I know there is a lot a lot a lot of hot opinions about the Harley service intervals. I think you know I think I recommend the 1k, the 5k, 10k, from there on out every 5k, something like that. And I think all the controversy stems from the fact that I think they tend to be a little pricey. You know, a lot of people joke around and get mad and say, you know, it's a four or five hundred something dollar, you know, regular old oil change. So some people do it, some people don't do it, some people do it themselves, somebody take it to somebody else they trust, but Obviously the story behind mine is I picked this up used with exactly 1,000 miles on it And you guys already heard a little bit about the story about the way I picked it up used not really any history on it Picked it up at a car dealership They obviously didn't know anything about it or weren't able to check it out or do any maintenance on it So for my own peace of mind, I was like I just picked this thing up don't know anything about it Obviously I had about 200 miles on it at this point. I'm like it held up. Well, I'm pretty sure everything is okay, but I was like, for peace of mind, let me just get out here to Hannum's Harley-Davidson in Media PA, do a 1K service, just bite the bullet, have them check it over, do a once over, get all the fluids prepped, ready to go, changed out, make sure everything's tight and good to go. But like I said, I've heard a lot of mixed reactions and mixed reviews on the interval services because they can be really expensive and I don't know why I think most of it's just because of what Harley's charging for labor these days like the parts you know the oil oil filters gaskets all that stuff's not expensive I think it's just the time that they're putting into it and charging for it so basically my theory all along has been and I did this with my Sportster too I did do the 1k service actually right back there at Hanum's as well my theory all along is I did this with my Sportster as well was let me just go ahead and do the 1k service at the dealer just make sure you know as a brand new bike and everything like that just make sure you know I trust them I know they're gonna look everything over make sure everything's good to go after that 1k bite the bullet I know it's gonna be expensive but just get it out of the way give me peace of mind you never know what could go happen with a new bike you want to get every all the tension right and the cables the belt make sure everything's tight and fastened adjusting and break it in the way it's supposed to be so my theory has always kind of been I tend to do that 1k service at the dealership and then everything from there on out I kind of have my local guy do my, he's a Harley guy as well I mean he's worked in Harley shops he knows all this stuff anyways he can do all the same exact stuff for a little bit cheaper so that's kind of the route that I really kind of wanted to take on this one. Go ahead, have them look it over. It's totally new to me anyway. It's already got that thousand miles on it. Have them do their thing, bite the bullet. We're going to see what the cost is going to be here in a little bit. But obviously, let me know what your opinion is on the Harley service intervals. Do you do them? Do you not do them? Do you take them to the dealerships? Do you take them to your local guy? Do you do them yourself? I know a lot of people out there do them yourself. It tends to just be a lot of, you know, fluid changes and tightening of this and that. But go ahead, drop it down in the comments. Let me know your opinion on these service intervals. Alrighty, so as you can see, we just pulled up to Hanum's Harley-Davidson in Media, PA. We're going to head in, tell them to schedule up this 1K service, get in and get out. We're going to check back in with this beautiful red street bob here after we get the 1K service done. We'll take a look at the sheet, talk about was it worth it. Alrighty, and just like that, we are back at the bike. 1K service is complete now. So let's pull out the sheet we just got. Take a look at how much this was. Take a look at our itemized stuff here. I'm not sure if that stuff will come through on the uh, camera, but so obviously 1K service. They're doing oil change, fluid changes, all that stuff, gaskets. Gasket, cover clutch, I went with the synthetic oil, we got the lubricant, oil filter, all that stuff. Work description, 1K service, tech completed 1K service, no recommendations at this time, that's what I was looking for. 
tech advised there are bcm codes present due to the aftermarket indicators i've got the rogue rider industries on there makes the indicator blink fast and our total for the day was six hundred dollars <laughs> So I know I think that is a couple hours of work they go through they tighten all the uh, critical fasteners as they call them again they do all the fluids all that stuff they give it a test ride they run it up and down the street said everything was good no recommendations got a lot of compliments on the color and everything but the big question is like I said is that 1k service worth it hop on the bike tell you my thoughts Alrighty, so we're back on the bike now. Obviously, as you can see, we just left Hannum's Harley Davidson. I gave you a little look at the rundown and the cost on that sheet, that breakdown of the 1K service. And so there you have it. So 600 bucks. <laughs> I don't know, pretty, I don't know, a little ridiculous, a little expensive. But like I said, for me in this particular scenario, not having any history, not being able to have anyone check it out before I got it, I do in this particular scenario feel like it's worth it. It gives me peace of mind now. Like you said, I mean, they're just tightening stuff. They're doing the fluids. They're checking over this and that. They said no recommendations, so we are good there. Now I feel really good about the thing. I feel really good about the purchase. <laughs> I felt good about it in the anyways, but I mean, I had already ridden it like about 200 miles and nothing seemed out of whack or seemed crazy or anything like that. So we can go ahead and finish out this ride in uh, having peace of mind through Ridley Creek State Park right there. Always a good ride out this way. But yeah, like I said, for me, I just really wanted to have peace of mind. I think from here on out, I will be having my local guy do fluid changes, you know, anything that pops up, anything like that. Another interesting thing that I did get confirmation on, which was good, was the fact that I had, like I said, I had no information on this, didn't get a book or anything with it, like the service manual, anything like that. But the one thing they did confirm with me was that the factory warranty comes through with the bike. So that's something I'm pretty excited about. That's a very good thing in my opinion. I don't have to worry about that. I didn't know if I would need to like transfer it or like do anything weird to make sure I would still get it. But they said the factory warranty will follow the bike so I could take it right back out there if anything would happen to it. They would check it off by the VIN and we would be all set and good to go. So that's also a good peace of mind. So I'm feeling really good about the bike now. So obviously, I mean, we're coming up on October now at this point and there's not a whole lot of riding left in southeastern Pennsylvania, Philly region, but good to go probably all the way in through spring I'll get it out in you know spring obviously I mean of course we'll do some more riding this year but once I get it back out in spring I'll get more miles in it maybe put down another couple thousand and then maybe get another service before summer get everything prepped up and then really start and put down some like longer trips next year probably but yeah anyways back to the cost I mean like I said 600 bucks I don't know man it is what it is whatever the price is for peace of mind I guess I do remember on the Sportster it was only about somewhere around like 350 to 400 I believe and then like I said again everything after that I went ahead and did with my local guy in the city so try to save a little money support local businesses all that good stuff so to answer the question is it worth it I don't know I think that's gonna be for you to answer case by case basis I do think the first one is absolutely worth it but especially in this particular scenario with this bike that I was in but you guys let me know out there drop it down in the comments is the 1k service worth it do you do it do you like it do you do all the intervals after that drop it down there in the comments and let me know and again, also, that's going to give anybody out there some insight into what that's probably going to cost you with that 1K service with your M8. Again, Softail Street Bob right here. I went with the synthetic fluids. Came in at pretty much like $600 on the dot. Hope that answers the questions anybody might have in regards to what that's going to cost, what are you getting into, time frame, stuff like that. Wow, I honestly don't even know where I'm at right now. I think I'm probably going to have to turn around, but uh, 
this one that's gonna wrap this one up for now quick little conversation about that 1k service as always we're gonna continue on a little ride out here in the woods uh, don't even know where I am make sure you ride safe out there guys make it a good one as always be a friend tell a friend if you want to see more street pop sports or content subscribe to the channel go ahead and like this video and as always we'll catch you on the next one it's the moto john we'll see you all on down the road peace